where did, Dar where did Darwin get this? Where does it come from? And to some of you, I'm sure you realize that it sounds very much like uh, another theory you know about, and this is an interesting point, that is where Darwin's got it. It's very close to Adam Smith's economics, and we now know that in 1838, when Darwin developed the principle of natural selection, that's what he was doing for the few weeks before he got this great insight after reading Malthus, that is, he was studying the work of the Scottish economists through the work of Douglas Stewart on the life of Adam Smith. That is Adam Smith's argument transferred to nature. That's the beauty of it. I mean, think about it. You, we want a well-ordered economy. Now, you might think that the best way to get a well-ordered economy that will turn the greatest good to the greatest number is to get all the smart folks who know a lot about economics, give them power, sit them around a table and let them figure out how to do it and then pass laws explicitly for that arrangement. Now that's the equivalent of Paley's God. If you want good organization and harmony, just let an all-knowing God make it explicitly. You know, let the economists who know it best just make the laws. But Adam Smith's argument is wonderfully paradoxical. He says, no, that may seem right, but in fact you want to do something that looks like the opposite. What you want to do is let individuals struggle for personal profit, and you don't trammel them in any way. That's laissez-faire, you just let them be. You let them struggle for personal profit, and that's all. There is no higher principle. If you do that without any trammels, then the ones who do it well will drive out the others. The ones who do it well will balance each other, and you end up indirectly with the well-functioning economy by letting people struggle for personal profit. And then Smith introduces that wonderful metaphor, one of the great lines in the English language, that you get that order and harmony, he says, through the action of an invisible hand. That there is no directing hand of Haley's God. It's the invisible hand. The only thing that's happening is you're letting individuals struggle for personal profit, and out of that indirectly comes the maximally ordered economy. Darwin's argument is the same transferred to nature. Truly, you can't take it with you, so personal profit is not the natural analog, but reproductive success is. So in nature, all you have are organisms struggling for individual reproductive success.